This program is made possible by support from the City of Upland. Hey there, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Now today, our quest letter came to us all the way from Indiana. Brian wrote, Dear Joel, I'd like to see how toys are made on your show. Well, Brian, it is your quest letter that has brought us up here to the Bay Area in California. We're going to see not only how toys are being made, but how they make toys from 100% recycled material. So let's get the play in on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. Woo! How to make toys today green toys i'm here with robert how's it going man hey, all right man how you doing great great so tell us a little bit about green toys so green toys are made 100 percent from recycled milk jugs the milk jugs that you throw in your recycle bin we take those reprocess it and we make kids toys out of them no kidding and i see i mean i, I see what uh sand toys here teapot sets and whatnot gardening sets oh. Yeah, we make a lot of cool stuff. It's all made in California, 100% in the U.S., completely safe, environmentally friendly. That is so cool, you know, because forever now, my, my kids are learning how to recycle, and now we can show them what it can become. That is awesome. That's right, because you tell kids, recycle, it's good to recycle, but what happens to that material? This, is, this closes the loop for kids, so you can see what happens to the material after you recycle it. Awesome, so we're gonna go through the process from the milk jug, down to the product, right? That's right, we're gonna show you. We come up with an idea, we sketch it out, we make models, and then we make the toy. We're gonna take you all the way through the life of our tea kettle. Before we get started, why don't you tell us, what's the first step to making toys? What is the first step to making toys? Getting the parts. A piece of paper and pencil. Coming up with the idea. Can get the parts. Um, imagination, designing it. All right, so Robert, what is the first step to making toys? The first step is an idea. So you literally come up with an idea and we sketch it. What do you think a good toy would be? Um, a teapot set? Oh, that is a good answer. <laughs> let's make a teapot set. All right. All right. Well, it's already so, made for us, but let's start from the beginning. <laughs> all right. So what's the central part of a tea set? Uh, like the tea thingy. That the, tea the kettle. Thing. The kettle. Ding, 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 ding. Wow, I get points. Cool. Yeah, that's right. So let's make a tea kettle. Okay, well, we're right. drawing now. All yeah, right. cool. so, so let's make a tea kettle. So a tea kettle has this bulbous body, right? A bulbous body. I've never heard that. Bulbous a body. A bulbous like body. It. What All else right. does it have? It's got a, got a big old handle. Well, what it, this is not an elephant ear. <laughs> let's make it like a realistic size <laughs> handle, okay? You don't like my handle, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. What's the most important part of a tea kettle? Ah, the, uh, the, the spout. There we go. Once again, it's not an elephant. <laughs> Let's make it. How about little, like that? A little spout. Okay, that how right. about like a, um, oh, what about a, a, a top? A, uh, top. Uh, a lid. A lid, yes. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> Let's put a lid on the tip. All right, so how about some fancy lid, like, uh, like a lid like that with a big old handle like that, and it has a second handle like that, and a hook right there. That looks great, but let's change it. <laughs> Let's make, <laughs> you know, like how about bigger. like that? Okay. All right, about, now. Put a bit of flames on it like that, like, whoa, yeah. I think that's great. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. How about, a, how about a nice line right across like that? Wow, all right. And then wait, 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 wait we gotta wait, finish it or the oh, water okay. will drip out. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna finish the part of that race right there. Now, we have a tea kettle. That was work. Let Should we make you. this? Yeah. Let's actually make it and like it look like this, okay? All right. So this is how you start making a toy. You just throw it on a blackboard? It all starts from an idea. Uh -huh. You get an idea and you can make it. There's no intimidation, no boundaries. You have an idea, you can make anything you can come up with. What, did you hear that, kids? Look at the cameras and say that. Look at that. Anything you want. You can make it. You can do it. You just need a good idea and imagination. 
All right, so that's how this started for you guys, right? That's right, with an idea. With an idea. All right, so we have the design now. Where do you take this? You take this and we go to the computer. All right, so let's go to the computer. All right, come on. How do you design a toy? Uh, put stickers on it. Inspiration? Uh, with a piece of with a pencil by making, putting screws and coloring it. Looking at something and choosing something that looks like that. All right, so our design that we drew on this whiteboard right there is now on the computer. That That's, is so cool. It's awesome, isn't it? How did you do that? You know, it's just magic. Oh, yeah, computer magic. Wow. All right, so cool. So what are we looking at here? Um, so now we've got the 3D model. Uh huh. Now we need to make it real. Yeah. We yeah. actually have to make it a real world teapot. And you can turn this model. Yeah, you can spin this baby so around. Watch it. Wow. Wee -wee -wee -wee. You have the top. So there's the top, and then there's the bottom. Yeah. So what we've decided to do is we're going to make a tea kettle in two parts. We're mm -hmm. going to make the bottom and top, and we're going to assemble them together. Okay. All right. So now, now we got it in. The, it looks all, looks all cool in the computer. What do you do from here? Now push print. Okay. And we've got this big fancy machine over here <laughs> that's literally going to make a model. Whoa! There it is. That. Yeah, that yeah. Is... We just push print. Wow, that's some TV. That's pretty good, uh, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. fantastic. So what this, this is a model uh -huh. called an SLA. Okay. And what this does is this literally came from our computer model. All right. We push print and this came out of the machine. This lets us hold it, turn it around, look at it, and say, is this the right size? How does it fit together? What's the size? How does it feel in your hand? Uh -huh. That's what you, that's the purpose of a 3D model. Now, so this is a 3D model, like you said. Yes. Okay, now what, is this made of the 100% recycled plastics at this point? No, this is a special prototyping material just to tell shape and form. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna take this and we're gonna make an actual teapot from the recycled plastic. Now, do you go through a lot of these these steps, you know, from the drawing from the drawing board down here to the computer to this and say, mm, this doesn't feel right, this doesn't hold together right? Many, many steps. <laughs> many steps. This is probably version number 50 of our teapot. Wow. You so go through a lot of these because it's gotta be perfect. So there's a whole try and try and try and try and keep trying again and again and again, right? So you get it right. Absolutely, yeah. When do you know that you've got the winner? We know we've got the winner when we take this, we hand it to a kid, it fits their hands, oh, my hands they can big. pour it, <laughs> and they tell us we really like this. So once it's parent tested and kid tested, we know we got it just right. And you've given this to them like 50 times? Oh, over and over you say yes, and they say, I don't like this, I've spilled it, it comes apart, you know? <laughs> and because kids are really the ultimate judge on whether a toy is right or wrong. Huh, well that's cool. So once the kids decide, this, and the parents decide this is the one, then you go and make them? Then we take this and we go to the factory. All right, so is that where we're heading next? Let's go to the factory. Let's go out there, come on. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Did you know that one pound of recycled plastic milk containers saves enough energy to run a TV for three weeks? All right, so the milk was good. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, so we drank our milk for this morning. And now we're going to use these to make your toys. That's right. These milk jugs were thrown in the recycle bin. Uh -huh. They were processed into new plastic. And that's what's in this box you're leaning on right now. This becomes this. Wow. That by the shredding, the melting, and the pelletizing. Shred it, melt it, make it into these pellets, which, are, which make our toys. So we're done with these. We're all done with these. These have now become this. So we got to recycle these. Things. All right, out of the way. All right, so now I notice when I'm looking here, hey, come on in here, here we go. I see that these pellets have some pink in them. That's right, this is the colorant. Otherwise, we'd have plain white toys. This little pink that you see in here, this is the actual colorant. We can make it any color we want to. Wow, and so just a little bit of that pink makes the tea kettle? 3% color to overall plastic. Wow. Just a little bit of color goes a long way. That's amazing because we've seen these being recycled. We've seen them processed, shredded, melted, 
and pelletized, and now you're gonna take these and with nothing else, make toys. That's right, these are gonna get melted down, squirted into a mold, and a tea kettle's gonna come out, exactly like we drew on the whiteboard. Wow, okay, Robert, I've been in this box, and I've had pellets in my pants, in my shoes, in my pockets, everywhere. I've been in here, in fact, let's roll that tape. All right, so now you've seen me get in here, but I haven't seen you get in here. <laughs> yeah! Wait, wait, you gotta get some in your pants and your pockets. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. All right, hey, Robert, can we stop playing around? Let's go make some tea cans. You wanna make... What can recycled milk jugs become? Cardboard boxes, chocolate milk, bird feeders, cats, like a skater toy or something like that? Milk. Toys? <laughs> okay, so the pellets, are they melted at some point in here? Yeah, so they're sucked up into here. In here, they're melted. Okay. Oh, a little warm. Yeah, a little yeah. Warm. They melt them here, and then a big old barrel, it's literally called a barrel, squeezes okay. the plastic into a mold, just like a brain, a brain freeze. <laughs> just like a brain freeze. Just like a brain freeze. So it pushes and squeezes the plastic into a mold just like a popsicle mold. It literally squeezes right in and it looks just like the thing you make a popsicle out of. Okay, all right. And then from there, the toy pops out. Wow, wow. So we go from the pellets to the melted, squishy squeezing to a popsicle, the bam toy. You got it, man. Whew, let me tell you, that was a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. How about you? I'm exhausted. We should sit down. I mean, we we're really tired. Yeah. You want to go back? No, 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 no. <laughs> fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. In ancient Greece and ancient Rome, children played with dolls made of wax and sticks. All right, so now, once the mold comes out, the, uh, uh, the uh, tea kettle comes out, then what? Then what we do is we've got the parts. Remember we had the top and the bottom? Yeah. We're gonna put those together and make the tea kettle. So a top will come out and a bottom will come out. All right, so let me grab one so I can demo it. You just stand right there. when you take off your shoes and everything. Yeah, so what happens is this plastic gets squeezed into the mold and then what happens is these parts come out. Okay. We got a top and a bottom. Remember, just like we saw on the computer screen. Right, right. Now we're gonna put these together and when you put them together, it makes a teapot. Wow. Look at that. There it is, it feels, it's still hot. Yeah, it's still very warm. Because it was melted and squeezed into there. Now, are you done at this point? I mean, at this point, we're done. We gotta put a top on it, we gotta put it in the box, and we've now, we have to test it. Ooh, that's an important part of making toys, I understand. Yeah, this toy has to be 100% safe. So the important part is right now, we gotta send this to a lab and have it tested. You know, when you think about it, making this, it's really not that complicated. And the, and the, and the most important part is the recycling part that we did, right? That's absolutely right. The important part about this is this is a teapot, but this is made from the milk jugs that you threw in your recycle bin. And you threw in your recycle bin. And you bin. threw in your and recycle you bin. Threw, and, and you threw. 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 No. Well, that was me. I no, me. That was no. That was me. It was mine. This is my milk jug. This is no mine. 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 Mine.
All right, so we did that, we made that, and now we got to test it. Now we got to test it. All right. So that, here's what we're going to do. stand on them? What yeah, we, yeah. we send this to a lab. A lab takes it and says, is it safe? Will it break? Is there any lead in here? Is there any bad chemicals in here? And we get a report back that says A+. Plus. Wow. You, you don't get any reports that, that do not say A+, plus, right? We have never gotten a non-A+, plus report. So the process of making the toy, we're pretty much done. Well, we got one important step left to do. We got to take this with the saucer and the cup, the whole tea set. Oh, yeah. We got to put it in the box. What tea set is complete without a saucer and cups? And a top. Huh? Yeah, and we got to put it in the box. So let's go. Where do we go? That's a whole nother place. Let's get in the car and go. Are you serious? Yeah. We got to go somewhere else? A whole nother place. Let's go. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. More than 3 billion toys and games are sold annually in the United States. All right, so Robert. Why are we putting green toys in a purple box that the toy is actually pink? You know, green is about any color. Green is a way of life in saving the planet. It has nothing to do with one specific color because pink is the best color for a teapot, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. My daughter would agree with you. That's right. <laughs> We've made the kettle, all right, and now we need to package it. We've got to put it in something. We've got to put it in something. Which That's I, right. I kind of dig your box here, right? Look at this. A tea set box and uh... the idea about being green is it's all cardboard, 100% yeah. recyclable. I like that. Made from recycled milk jugs, and you have a little picture of the milk jugs right, right there? on the front. That is, That's right. That is totally awesome. All right, so now you said there's a trick to these boxes. Now <laughs> we, let's start with this. Uh, a holy, holy this mackerel. becomes that. Ready? This, yeah. All right. So go. Go. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you want me to put it together? So here's what you do now. I got this. I'm all over this. All right, so I can do my side faster. You, you, well, I'm I'm in. Ah, look at that. I was there. All right, so. Oh, man. Uh, oh yeah, these are right through here. Ta-da! Look at that. Bam! Look at that. Yeah. You see that? You see that? Which one's better? <laughs> oh, mine's better. All right, so now we have to get all the toys that we made. Right. We want to get them in here mm -hmm. so that people can touch them and feel them, but can't steal them. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a slogan you have. That's right. <laughs> touch them and feel them, don't steal them. Okay, so of course the most important spot, that's where the tea kettle goes. So we go like right put there? Put the top on it. Oh, I got to put the top back on it. All right. That's where the tea kettle goes. Now, let's build a tea set. So we got our little teacups. That's right. You're supposed to cheer, cheer. Wait, wait, this is the That's. Port. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Mm -hmm. It's right. not, there we go. Oh, you're supposed to drink after you chew. All right. Don't forget the creamer. Cre oh, the creamer. All right. And don't forget the sugar bowl. A sugar bowl, absolutely. But now let's make a tea set sandwich. <laughs> oh, look at all that hard work. Look at that. You made a, Joel, you made a great tea set, but let's see how the experts do. <laughs> all right, we'll see the experts here. You're ready? You want to race me? Oh, are you serious? Here we go. Ready? Go. go. All of this, man. You're going down, man. You're going down. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm having some technical difficulties. Box doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, dude. <gasps> <laughs> yes! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Hey, I have my little thing in. Do you have your little thing in? Ah, oh, look at that. Uh huh. Thanks for You just ruined the box, man. That'll cost you 30 cents. <laughs> I ruined the box. I did. Look at I destroyed this box. 
I'm sorry, but what are you going to do with it? Now we're going to recycle it. That's it. That's, right. That's it. All right. Sing me the teapot song. Ready, go. I'm a little teapot, short as sprout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over and pour me out. All right, so Robert, now, after a long, hard days of work, we packaged all of these toys up, and they're ready to be shipped to stores. They're ready to go across the country and across the world. Wow. So now, obviously, in the toy making business, the whole idea is to get the toys into the hands of the kids. And that's the number one way to do it, right? You bet. Yeah, cool. Now, I see these stickers everywhere. Like, they're right there on you. And I got one on me. T tell me about this, this uh, no BPA. BPA and phthalates are these no-no additives that some people put in plastic products. It's a complete bad thing for toys. Our toys are made from 100% recycled milk jugs, and our toys, like all safe toys, have no BPA and no phthalates. No. These no-no additives. And no lead paint. I see lead and paint. And no lead it. paint, of course, because <laughs> we don't use any paint at all. Yeah, yeah. Because they just naturally are good color. And of course, uh, the boxes, your packaging is all 100% recyclable too. No twist ties, no film, no cellophane. It's just recyclable cardboard. Well, when, when I, as a parent, get this toy in the store, I'm gonna come home and I'm not gonna deal with all those twist ties. Oh, those twist ties, let me tell you. <laughs> and everything is recyclable. The eagle, eager little fingers can get right to the toys. All right, so I'm gonna take us to the end of the cycle, and maybe you don't wanna talk about the end of your toy cycle, but um, what should we do with these toys when we're done using them? You throw them in the recycle bin. You should completely recycle the toys and the packaging. Uh, and you're okay talking about throwing your toys away even though we just made your toys. Although I can't imagine why anyone would ever <laughs> throw one of our toys away. Lori's like dying to say something. Yeah. Well, She's sitting there going. This is Lori, the one who dumped all the plastics down your shirt earlier. But I'm bringing you up here because I'm talking about throwing your toys away and you're like, oh my why? God. Why our toys will last forever? <laughs> why would you ever want to dispose of them? And we wouldn't want to dispose of them. Just hand them down to, to, to the next generation. But the point was is that you're not, I mean, you're making toys from 100% recycled material. You're packaging in 100% recyclable material. And when the end of life cycle for the toys, you know, reach the end. Two ways to recycle. One, hand them to somebody else, or two, stick them in the recycling bin. Absolutely. So you completely closed the loop. Tried you. Well, we've completely closed the loop from the recycled milk jugs all the way back to when you're done with them, they're recycled again. All right. So now we have to get these out to the hands of kids, don't we? Now we got to go to the fun place. The fun. Ooh, there's more fun. The toy store. The when I say green toys, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? A green soccer ball. Grass. Environmentally safe. Grass. Playground. Hulk. Green playground. Goo. <laughs> I'm playing. We're in a toy store. Come this, on. This is an awesome place, isn't it? It is. Uh, can you juggle? I can juggle. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. They're going to kick us out of this toy store. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've made our way across the bridge over to a toy store. We're at, we're at the Ark on 4th Street in Berkeley, which is one of the 2,000 retailers across the United States which carries green toys. Yeah, and they got it nicely displayed back here, huh? Here wow. it is, yeah. We've got our indoor gardening kit. We've got a sand kit. We've got the cookware set. And you recognize oh, this. Oh, the tea set. There we go. Look at That's that. That's the Joel tea set put together by your hand at the place, which, by the way, where we put this together was really just down the road from here. Absolutely. And yeah. where our warehouse is is just down the road from there. We try to do everything locally because the way to be green is to do everything locally, save energy, and reduce greenhouse gases by not having a lot of transportation. So now, if, if I wanted to, or if I want to get my kids, uh, uh, you know, some of the green toys, what would I do? You can go to um, your local toy store. You can go online. There's a number of online retailers. Or you can go to greentoys.com. Click on the big shopping bag that says where to buy, and they'll find it in a store that's near you. Okay. So now, Rob, I'm, I'm going to see if we can get we get in here. Robert, the future. What does the future look like for green toys? We see the products you're making right now, but what's in the future? We have a lot of great toys coming out that people buy every day. We're, we make the standard classic toys, which you buy for your children day in, day out. We at Home Recycle, and you make really cool toys. We've completely closed the loop. 
We've started from the milk jug that your kids would put in the recycle bin, and we've gone all the way to the, to the shelves at a toy store that have the toys that you can now take home and your kids can play with. We've completely closed the circle. Absolutely, and speaking of taking home with, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm talking about here, so. <laughs> There you wow. go, man. See you later. Well, okay. Well, uh, you know what? I want to thank Robert and everyone involved in making green toys, especially all you out there, for doing all that recycling. And Brian, thanks for sending us on today's Curiosity Quest. Now, if there's something that you're wondering about, please let me know. It's simple. Go online. Go to kbcr.org. Click on the Curiosity Quest link and simply tell me what you're curious about. And who knows? It could be you that sends us on our next great green adventure. Now, remember, this is our planet. And it's our responsibility to take care of it. So I'm curious. Have you gone green? I'm Joel Green, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, I need help at the checkout. But Robert, what are you doing, man? Get in. <laughs> there you go. Take all that for me. Let's go check out. Come on. Do you know that toys can be made from 100 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's got some speed here. Do you know that toys?